Yo me mateys and welcome back to me channel. Today I bring you some more Sea of Thieves top tips. I be Captain Billy Bones and I'm going to walk you through five cool top tips you can do for Sea of Thieves yar. Okay, so now that's out of the way, uh, just a little bit of fun stuff for you there. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to be covering a lot of Sea of Thieves uh, on my channel in the future now. Uh, if that's the sort of thing you're into, do please hit that like button and like and uh, hit the like button. Uh, don't forget to share and please do subscribe and help my channel grow. Um, and I will try and help you as much as possible on your endeavours. I think it's the best thing to say. So we're going to be doing top five tips today. This is a, a a long series I'm going to do. So it's not going to be just the five top tips in the whole game. They're just top tips in general. There's five of them. And there's going to be a whole series of them because there is so much to do in this game. Uh, so let's get it cracking off. My first one is when you first start, I've already changed my weapon, but when you first start, you actually have a sniper rifle and a pistol. Um, you want to be familiar with changing your weapons so I've changed mine as you can see to a cutlass so first thing you want to do uh, is perhaps change your weapons over um, a lot of people are enjoying the blunderbuss right now as well so I actually use blunderbuss and cutlass uh, as a combination so the f top tip number one is to go and customize your weapons because every time you start you're going to have the sniper rifle and the pistol and you kind of really want a melee weapon uh, because if you're off the ship you run out of ammo uh, you, you haven't got an ammo box nearby, you're kind of stuck really. So you always want to be having something you can kill uh, enemy players or skeletons with. So that's top tip number one. Top tip number two uh, is in this area again. It's just familiarising yourself with every outpost. Uh, I haven't been to my ship yet so I couldn't tell you what exactly this outpost is but on every uh, island or outpost I should say there is a armory as we've just been to there is a clothing shop uh, and there's equipment and vanity uh, as well so you just want to familiar yourself with your because there are three uh, potential um, reputations you want to be gaining yourself with you've got the gold hoarders the order of souls and the merchant alliance and you want to know where those are because that's why you're going to be handing in your uh, booty once you pick it up and you need to know where to go because there might be people on the island ready to steal your stash so here first is always in a tent is the gold merchants uh, this with this symbol it won't always be in this location so that's why I say familiar yourself with each outpost just before you actually leave because you always start on an outpost uh, so just so you know where the where to hand your quests in and get your quests as well This is the order of souls. It's always underneath It's a little bit misleading because you would first of all think it's going up there uh, But it's not but look for the baubles the little cool glasses and potions and lotions and that is the order of uh, Souls you've also got the merchants Alliance, which is always on the jetty or I think this is called a jetty or deck or wherever it is uh, and it's always on the side here uh, I've, I've found so far not, not that there's been any difference and this is your customizations always on the deck jetty whatever these things are called so that's number two always familiar yourself familiarize yourself with uh, with your outposts so that you know where to go and just on a side note because you might be watching this you just go to talk to one of these guys and then you can pick up a voyage uh, and then you'll be able to actually start collecting some uh, some cash and gold coins Okay, so seeing as it's here right now as we speak, I will make this my top tip number three. Um, and this is explaining what this little bad boy in the sky is. So when you see the school cloud, which is just right there, as scary as it is, uh, it's really close this time. And what that means is, is that there is an event going on and it's the skeleton fort event. Uh, basically endless waves of skeletons. And ideally, you want to be going there with other ships. Yes, they are your enemy, potentially. They could kill you. But you really want to work as a team with random people. So go yourself in game chat, for example, and just talk to the opposition uh, and try and hopefully talk them out shooting you in the face. Uh, and then you can work as a team and then take on the skeleton fort. This one is literally just right in front of me. So if you ever just wonder what that is, that's the top tip. That is the skeleton fort event. And there is a giant school in the sky. Tip number four for today is a little one to do with your ship. When you've parked up and you're at your, your island or you're at your outpost, uh, parked up, <laughs> once you've anchored down, uh, what you want to do, if you want to make a turn, so remember we're pointing south and we need to go north. 
Well, what you would normally do, or what you think you would do, is, is you'd have the sail down and you'd swing very wide to catch the wind and then you'd get there eventually. Well, there's a little bit of an extra trip trick you can do, uh, and all you end up doing is just lifting your sails up, whether it be on a gallon or suit, snoop, sloop. Yeah, you lift the sails up, you raise your anchor, and then you turn either left or right, depending on which way you want to go. Obviously, you don't want to crash into anything. Uh, I'm going to go right for this point just to show you so we're pointing on the south as you can see in the bottom there and we turn it all full circle all the way to the right and it spins on a coin basically on the spot and it's a great way to just turn around and reset re repoint your ship ready for the next uh, destination that you're going in and I'm just gonna line it up a little bit there we go so we're pretty much north so there you go always raise your sails and uh, Raise your anchor. You can always drop it again now, it's no problem. Uh, when you're in the, the position you want to go to, and then you can turn around. Uh, in a future top tip video, I will show you how to make handbrake turns. That's another little handy tip. Uh, but I'm not going to show in this one. I'll save that for the next one. Okay, so my final tip for today, number five, uh, is a very important one. I think this is the most important out of today's tips. Um, and I see this mistake happening quite a lot. I mean, whether you class it as a mistake is a different matter, but I think it's a mistake. As you can see, it's now turned night time. We are hopefully no other ships about. It would have been perfect to see another ship about, but we haven't got one around. But my top tip for today in this video is turn off the lanterns at night. Because I am not joking, right? If you've got hostile ships nearby, you've got these lanterns on at night, you can be seen a mile away. Uh, remember everyone has a spyglass so I mean they can just be searching the seas and just you're just lit up like for example there's another outpost over here uh, we can't see it from this angle but we'll use it as an example outposts are always lit up uh, as you can see there's lots of flames and stuff and as you can see there there is an outpost just over there and that's what your ship looks like so your ship could be just right on that island there and I would see it because you haven't turned your lanterns off Whereas if you turn them off, it gives you a little bit of an advantage uh, that they may, may not see your ship at a distance. It could potentially save your game and save your, save your loot if you're uh, trying to hand it in. So there you go. That is definitely my top tip for today. Uh, and this has been my top five tips for Sea of Thieves. Hopefully you've enjoyed the series. Don't forget, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe uh, as it would much appreciate. Uh, I would much appreciate it and it would help my channel. Is that a ship there? There you go, look. There is a prime example. Ship there. Lantern's on. I know he's there. I can just go over there and steal his loot now. <laughs> I was just about to leave the end of the video. But that's exactly why you should turn your lanterns off. But there you go. This has been my top five tips. Uh, part one we're going to call it because there's going to be more top tips uh, in the very future. Uh, because, like I say, there is a lot to learn in this game and a lot of things can be shown. Like I say, if you've enjoyed it, please do hit the like button and please do share. Please subscribe if you're going to be enjoying Sea of Thieves, as it will be much appreciated. Thanks for watching today. Uh, enjoy the Seven Thieves and take care.